Ashley, you're chasing a story about what to wear and not to wear to the courthouse. What do you got? Guilty or not? Well, I'll let you be the judge. I had some fun outside of Philadelphia's Juanita Kid Stout Criminal Justice Center, and let's just say it's quite a fashion show. One heck of a runway. Now, I got to share with you some of my favorites that I saw. I saw snakeskin pants with matching red sneakers, lots of Timberlands with skinny sweatpants. Now, I'm no fashion police, so I went to one of the city's top criminal attorneys, Shaka Johnson, who says he has to coach his clients on what to wear for court. We used to say dress like you do when you go into church, and then we realized that people go to church in anything, and so that wasn't the thing to tell people to do. Johnson says in the nation's fourth largest city, how you look can play a role in how a jury perceives you. A young man charged with, let's say, narcotics offenses ought not wear um, high dollar tennis shoes, uh, jewelry, you know, uh, very expensive jewelry, um, a Ferragamo belt, uh, designer jeans, and then you know, it may come out later that this person is unemployed. He's advising people on, like who are on trial? Well, no, Shaka Johnson says he, he's a criminal defense attorney and he right. advises his clients, you don't want to be seen in designer gear. You don't want to look like a drug dealer. Yeah. Right. And, a lot, and then find out later you don't have a job. But switching gears after searching high and low, I am giving my fashion award of the day to Brianna Harris. H&M shirt, Old Navy jacket, Levi's and uh, American Eagle shoes. I chased one of the biggest cases in New Jersey in the nation, the case of Bridgegate, and Bridget Ann Kelly was always stylish. She was always wearing pink, and that's not just an accident. You know, it's kind of a, a, an idea of like being warmer to the press, winning in the court of public opinion. You show respect yeah. to the judge. You show respect to the attorneys that are there. They're dressed nice. You uh, present yourself well, and maybe you'll get a more favorable outcome out there. You know what? It doesn't make that much of a difference. I've seen murderers in suits, and they were still convicted. So.